Hey Pisces, cross watchers, and those of you stopping by to see what we have going on over here. I'm going to shuffle one time. While I do that, please hit that like, share, and subscribe button, please, and thank you. I'm going to shuffle one more time. All right, let's get started. See what the universe has for my Pisces. Coming by to do a temperature check. Page of Pentacles. Could be a stable offer. Oh, my nose is itching. Could be a stable offer. Could be a message. Could be some type of message of stability. Let's see. The Magician. Somebody's making some shit happen. Or wanting to make some shit happen with the stable offer and the hierophant they're going along with their um morals values and beliefs or it could be talking to someone trying to get counsel on how to make some things happen instability let's see Seven of Wands. Someone's a little guarded. Hmm. This. You could be going after something that you love with the Knight of Cups coming in with love. But I feel like you're a little guarded, unsure of which direction to go. You want wish fulfillment with the Nine of Cups. Or you could be trying to take on this task alone. You're going after what brings you emotional fulfillment. Judgment. You could be reviewing past, present, future. And trying to figure out what your next move is. Trying to make your next move your best move. Yeah, you want a new beginning with the fool card. Hmm. I feel like with this five of cups in reverse, that someone could be moving on from sadness, could be getting out of regret. Moving out of that phase. Let's see. Yeah, somebody's making a judgment call so they can have a new beginning and wish fulfillment. I feel like you've taken some time to heal. I feel like you're no longer guarded, maybe, when it comes to love. We have the page of wands, a passionate. So now we have two messages. We have a um, message of stability and a message of passion. And then we have the five of pentacles in reverse. So someone could be coming out of financial debt, feeling coming out of feeling abandoned. Two of Wands. Two of Wands planning and looking in another direction. Eight of Cups moving on from a situation that's no longer exciting to you. No longer has your emotional attention. Two more cards, please. And then we can piece this together. We have the Ten of Cups. 
emotional happiness. We're all trying to make it to the Ten of Cups and the Four of Pentacles. So someone could be holding on to their finances, holding on to a situation, or realizing what they need to let go of or hold on to. So I feel like somebody is coming in with two messages, two a message of, a message of passion and a message of stability. I feel like they're trying to make some things happen with you, Pisces. Um, I also feel like this situation could possibly lead to marriage with the Hierophant card. I feel that you may be a little guarded when it comes to love with this Knight of Cups or guarded with this person that's coming in with love with the Knight of Cups. All you want is wish fulfillment, Pisces. Um, I feel like this could be somebody that you're reconciling with. I feel like one person, one message may come from someone that you're reconciling with. And one message may come from someone um, that's bringing a new beginning. That's not from your past. Someone that's totally new. I feel like you've been hurt in the past with this Five of Cups. But I feel like with the Five of Cups in reverse, you're healing from this situation. You've healed from it. You're ready to move on. You could still be a little guarded because you don't know, really know what to expect with this new beginning or with this reconciliation. Um, from this page of wands and the page of pentacles. I feel like you have been abandoned in the past. And... You're coming out of a feeling of being abandoned, a fear of being abandoned, um, and looking in another direction. That situation was not wish fulfillment for you. That situation didn't hold your attention emotionally. But I feel like you're moving into this 10 of, you've gone from the nine of cups to the Ten of Cups because you're ready for love now. You're ready to move forward with love. Let's see. Okay. So now we have the Queen of Pentacles. Pisces, you could be coming out as the Queen of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles is a go-getter. It's one of the slowest energies um, in the deck, but it's the most stable. Um, this Queen of Pentacles is a mother. She's a go-getter. She's a hard worker. She's a family, um, family oriented. So I feel like that's the energy that you've stepped into after being abandoned. And guarded at the same time. Hmm. All right. Ten of Pentacles. Next to the Queen of Pentacles. So now on this spread, we have Ten of Cups and Ten of Pentacles. So I feel like you're getting wish fulfillment or um, finding stability in the Ten of Cups, in the love sector, and also in the financial sector. This is someone that you can retire with. Ooh, okay. The Sun card, happiness. We have the sun card. So I feel like Pisces, you've been through a lot. And I feel like happiness is on the way. It just requires a little patience with the um, page of Pentacles and queen of Pentacles. But I feel like you're absolutely going to reach that place of happiness, that place of home, that place of um, being wanted, that place of love. Um, 
And I just want to remind you, it is okay to love. It's okay to be hurt. It's, I say just take it as a lesson. People are put into our lives to teach us lessons. And later on in life is when you may meet your true partner. Your true life partner, would I just say. True life partner, ten, um, two of cups. So yeah, I'm going to leave it there. And um, please like, share, subscribe. Please donate to the channel as well. I want to keep it going. Um, all of my information is listed down in the description box below. Y'all enjoy the rest of y'all day. Bye.